Okay, so let's build a about us page utilizing some of the information that I've already given you in terms of in retrospect of the grid, um, the bootstrap grid. So let's use the bootstrap grid um, to build a very simple about us page. So what we remember from the bootstrap grid is that we start off with a container. So we're going to use um, we're going to use we're going to set up a container. Inside of that container, we're going to have a row, and then inside of that row, we're going to have um, two divs. So now I'm just setting up the divs here. I just need to remember to finish the div. So that's the container, that's the row, those are the separate divs. So um, I'm just going to tab those out. So there we go. So the first thing is going to be the container. So we build the container. So we're not going to have a fluid container, the whole width, we're just going to have it centered. And this is going to be our, our row. So we're going to have just one. Uh, we're going to have one row. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to remove that. Um, just thinking about the design here. Um, I'm not going to have the, I don't need the row. I don't need the row. So we're just going to have two separate divs. Okay, so in this container, what I want to build, this is probably going to make more sense now if I just show you first what we're going to build. So we've got our navigation bar at the top, and then we built the container. Um, I removed the row. Uh, what we're going to have is, is two separate um, divs, one here, which is going to have, for example, the, the title. And then underneath is going to have another div with the information about the company for example so um <coughs> that's what we're building um so in this div here um, we want to use the whole width of the container so we're going to say class equals uh, col 12 so we're going to use the whole uh, width and then we're going to do the same thing again here there we go and i'm going to call it a and then b and we're going to have a look to see what we've just built. There we go, A and B. So the first thing I want to do is to create a title called About Us. So I'm going to break this down a little bit further and I'm going to create a heading. So a heading, we're going to use the H1 tag. Uh, so a H1 tag, HTML H1 tag is a heading tag. And I'm going to call this about us. There we go. And then in the bottom box, I'm going to need a paragraph. So I'm going to use the P and another P. Now, <coughs> I don't want to start writing things. So what I can do is I can use a bit of Ipsen, Lauren Ipsen. Know this about. There we go, and I'm just going to use this generator. Not green. I'm going to use this generator to generate some text. There we go. Some text. I'll put that text down there. Now, obviously, what I want to do now is just make sure that the paragraphs are defined correctly. Um, go and then I can just tab that across if I want to um, yep and let's just make sure all these P's are right that there that one goes to that one that one goes to that one that's a bit of a rogue P so I'm just going to have two paragraphs otherwise it gets a bit messy and I'm just going to view it on the page <coughs> get rid of that and there we go about us okay so that looks okay um for an about us page now 
what I might want to do is, well, about us, I assume it's going to include somebody uh, in there potentially, maybe some of the employees. So if I go to components, if you remember before, we used a, um, a media object. So this looks like a nice little image of a person, then the name and then description of them. So I can copy that. And I'm just going to put that inside of a, a new div. Let's build a, a new div. A class class equals uh, again we're gonna have a column width of 12 so we use the whole thing <coughs> and then we have the uh, the media object and then we just close this div so that's the media so underneath the media is is the div that closes this looks pretty complicated um, so that closes this media. Let's just do a shift and tab on that and then tab that across and then tab that across. So we now see that that closes and ends. The media closes and ends. So obviously this <coughs> um <coughs> needs an image. Uh, so let's just go back to, um, let's go back to our index and just grab the image from here and put the image in there or just find an image um, that you want to use and that then goes into there the alt remember this is an accessibility option so this is an image of Bob um, and then the media heading is going to be Bob Bob what's his surname Bob 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 just Bob and now we go back and we'll see there's Bob there'd be a nice picture of Bob there <coughs> now you can see here that uh, one of the problems we've got is that Bob's image is, is way too big so uh, we need to define that in a minute um, so this is the image so what we can do here is just type in width equals um, 50 pixels so let's give that a go so for now put 150 um, there we go there's Bob um, <laughs> so this could be some of the people that work at the company now let's just add a new one so at this point um, I could add a new column if I wanted to um, or I could just add a new media element so there's another person and so on and so on <coughs> so we just have two bobs there um, so <coughs> what we got now <coughs> we can see now we need to do some padding uh, because we've got some spacing issues here potentially and we've got some spacing issues here so <coughs> let's just think about how we're going to tackle that so go back into the code we've got this h1 here now um, what we could do we could define padding on this element here so let's use um, the padding that's already been set up top padding and now we've got a nice um, padding of 30 there. Okay, so here um, we might want to do the same. So this, these two elements here, if I move down, <coughs> this is obviously the second. Let's just go and tab this across. So this is the second one. This is the first media. <coughs> so here, um, we want padding at the top so let's just put the top padding from our CSS there <coughs> and then we can apply that and there we go <coughs> now you can see that there's a gap here so I'm just going to inspe inspect that gap so I need to view this P and you can see at the bottom there's a margin of 16 <coughs> now what I really want to do is make some sort of consistent 
padding between everything. And I could spend a lot of time overwriting these P's uh, and defining some padding and then I could apply um, the padding to here to make everything nicely lined up. Um, but to keep it simple for now, um, we know that by clicking on this or browsing over this P, there's a padding of 16. So this needs to have a padding to be consistent with this 30 as 14. So what we can do is um, go into here, top padding, um, but call this top padding one, for example. Um, and this isn't good practice, but I'm just showing you how to uh, utilize to begin with CSS. So I've changed this name and the top padding is now going to be, uh, what did I say? Uh, 14, because uh, it was 16, wasn't it? Yeah, 16, so 16 and 14. You can now see that that padding is now going to be 30. That's going to be 30. That's 30 as well. We could add 30 there um, if we wanted to, um, but everything is nicely um, spread on the page. And if I just go into a different view, either by doing that or pressing F12 and then going into my uh, device toolbar, I can see what it looks like on a HD screen. Just move that across a bit. And then I can see what it looks like on a mobile phone. There we go. So that's our About Us page.